This is a Little Havana classic. Two fried cheese pieces of cheese as your bread. Classic burger underneath. Cheers. What's up everybody? John here from Aducos hanging out with It's a Beer Life on his new blog where he's sharing beer love and we're happy to be a part of it. We're here in Little Havana at Aducos Beer House. We are a Latin American style craft beer house uh, located right next to Marlins Park. So we're a hop, skip and a jump away from your next baseball game. And uh, what we do here is we try to bring Latin American comfort food together with a little bit of plant-based food as well as craft beer. So uh, we take a, a little bit of a different stance because we really want to get people into craft beer more. So our selection uh, has a nice range and we like to um, focus on beers that are sour, tart, and even some CBD selection. So uh, you have all the other options, Pilsner, Stouts, all the things you want to try. So here we encourage you to try things you've never tried before. Uh, Carl got to try us during the, uh, the COVID pandemic and he got to try us at home and he's still here so we must have done something right. And uh, he tried a Pina Colada Goza I believe that was there and um, you know uh, kind of touched our style and from there he's now showcasing us on his channel. So uh, welcome to It's a Beer Life and I hope to see you in Little Havana. All right, guys, welcome to It's a Beer Life. We had a little introduction about Duco, so you guys can learn a little more about what they have going on and their future plans as well. And obviously, you know where they're at as well in Little Havana. Today, I'm here with my special guest, which is I'm really excited. These are my special guests everywhere I go. So my wife, Teresa, and Kaden Michael, which he's not paying attention because he's playing with that Connect for. But yeah, we're here. I'm excited. We're gonna try a little bit of food. We already started with some beers, right, Teresa? That was very good. This is the new beer that they homebrew here, actually. So if you didn't know, the Ducos do their homebrew as well. And this is a guava mango weed ale thing. I already had a couple of sips of it. It was full. He gave me, <laughs> he gave me two to taste. Two weed ale. Yeah, yeah. one's full here. The other one is the guava weed ale. From, Obviously, uh, from you can see which one I like. Delicious. Cheers. I'm both really delicious. Both delicious. This one, they hit gold. Oh, my favorite. That's the yeah. name of it. And then they definitely hit gold with this one. And this is amazing beer. And I'm really hungry. I'm starving. Guys, yes, we're going to cheers. So we're going to get some drinks first. And then we're going to get some food. Cheers. What we have here is a plantain hummus. Uh, usually hummus is made with chickpea. We use plantain because we're in South Florida. And then we have crispy corn chips, and then we put a little bit of a panela, which is like a sugar cane syrup on top. Cheers. All right, what we have here from my newly touching plant-based friends is a traditional Venezuelan empanada, masa, made from moms. And then inside we made a veggie cheeseburger. So what we did is we used our veggie patty, cooked it, and then added vegan cheddar cheese inside. So in theory, you're eating a veggie cheeseburger inside an empanada, nice and fried. What's up everybody, here we have the Little Havana Burger and what you can see is fried cheese as the buns, okay? So the burger's there stuffed inside, I'm not gonna touch it, but this is a Little Havana Classic. Two fried cheese, pieces of cheese as your bread. Classic burger underneath. Cheers. I love those, those are hot, what's the sauce on them? Is that same vanilla? Vanilla sauce. Lime juice, sea salt. Mm. Super good. The vegan lovers, they will love that. All right, guys, so what we did here for our desserts is that we make scratch pies, so we make everything in-house. And by default, whenever we try to add something, we try to add something plant-based. Um, not because we're, you know, too, you know, too proud or crazy about things, just because we care really about our footprint. And we think that every time we can reduce some form of our foot footprint, we try to do it. So here you have a chocolate cream 
uh, pie, all plant-based, coconut cream based, chocolate, a little maple syrup, and then a vegan crust. Well, awesome guys, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for my special guest for joining me tonight on Riot to Lisa. You guys don't know, I'll put her Instagram down there. Make sure you follow her. Her new Yelp account too is growing as well, so make sure you follow her on Yelp. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, make sure you comment below if you have any recommendations when it comes to beer houses around Miami. I would love to check them out. Peace for the next adventures. Cheers.